I've got all the lights out. I'm just laying low for this one. All right, I don't want trick or treat. It's just a case of just keeping my head down and just waiting for the sun to rise again and just move on to another day and for Halloween to be behind me for 12 months. I've got a single light for illumination. I'm hoping that'll be enough just so I could perhaps read a book or eat something just to sort of in some way exist through the evening. I've locked the front door. I've locked the windows. Everything's sorted out. I mean, oh shit, the cat flap. So all right, I saw the cat flap out. I, I got two of my lightsabers and created an X, and that's kind of jarred it shut. So that that's fine. There's no way into. Shh, I gotta keep it quiet. There's no way into Gimel HQ. I am in a fortress. All I need to do now is just sit tight and just wait for Halloween to come to an end. Wish me luck. I know they're coming. I just know they're coming. I'm trying to have a bit of food just to keep me going, keep the energy levels going. Earlier, I thought I heard them turn up, but it wasn't them, it was just the neighbours coming back from the pub. So I'm all right at the moment. At the end of the day, this isn't really existing, is it? I mean, a grown man in a dark room, illuminated with one candlelight. I mean, it's like something out like the Blitz or something. I need more ketchup and salt, but that means going downstairs and putting the lights on. I can't do that. I'll just have to do. What's that noise? Shh, Zen. It's gone. I think it's the neighbours. Oh no, this isn't working. I have to turn the lights on. This is ridiculous. I can't see anything. Oh, oh, for Christ's sake. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, for flipping heck. This isn't how a normal man lives. This is just ridiculous. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, flipping out my Looney Tunes special edition just ruined. Oh, God, well, I'm going to have to speed eat this with the, with the lights on. But well, I've got to eat. I'm not going to allow them to stop me from eating. What a nightmare. I mean, I can't be bothered with this. Oh, my... oh for God's sake. I'm not interested. I haven't got an appetite anymore. This is out of, out of control, but I guess it's what the pagans want, don't they? They want to regress back to these medieval times of witches in closets, public executions, men eating spaghetti in huts with only the moonlight coming through. This is not how a man lives in the 21st century. Save it, save it, turn the lights off, turn the lights off. They're here. It's, it's started, it's begun. Not much of a last supper, was it, eh? Oh God, they're massing outside. There's a lot more of them than last year. Probably triple the amount. Oh God, I can't look. Every movie villain that Hollywood ever made, all out there, glaring up at me. Frankenstein, that one out of Halloween. Mini me, there's two Draculas. They're having a chat. Probably trying to work out how to get inside the house. Oh God, I should have had that spaghetti. It's, it's regurgitating, it's really quite horrific. There's, there's Freddy Krueger, is coming through the driveway. Oh, he's, he's closed the gate behind him, that's one thing. Oh God, they see me, they see me. Shit! They know I'm in the house. This is it, they spotted me. Dracula just pointed at me with his finger. Shit, this is it. What is the point of sitting around eating spaghetti in the dark just to be caught the first few seconds they turn up at your driveway? I'm not coming down! I don't care what you hear. It's not Dave Gimmel, it's somebody else. Gimmel moved out six months ago. He's living in Yapta now, in a bungalow. I'm gonna try and communicate with them on some level. Listen, I... What, you know, all right, just calm down. What sort of treats do you want? I mean, I, 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 I have some food. I mean, I've, well, I've got a, 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 a stale baguette and... Um, well, the rest is just tins, I'm sorry. Listen, my, my flatmates are going to be home soon, all right? You want a scar because they're going to be home soon and they're not going to be pleased with any of this. Sure, it's your treats. Well, well what else can I offer then? What you got, Kimo? Well, well, what, uh, what about DVDs? What DVDs do? What well, I'll have a look. Just, I've got Jimmy Carr Live. Rubbish. What about that? Robocop, the box set, like the entire trilogy. Well, it's a lot better than Transformers. Give it a go. What about, um, oh, here we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's rubbish. Heroes in a Half Shell. Next. I do have Batman Begins. You got the one with the Joker? No, I don't have Dark Knight. I said Batman Begins, the first. Well, if you've watched it, fair enough. But that's all I've got, all right? 
meet me halfway. This isn't the HQ for love films. I can't just produce anything. I've got £27.50 here, okay? £27.50 and that's it, and you must leave. And you should not come back next Halloween, believe me, because the police will be waiting for you. Guys, we just count the noise down. I've got neighbours. He's out here. What do you mean? Clive? Is that you? What, what are you doing out here? Well, that's very neighbourly. Thank you very much. It's just voices in the darkness. It's just ghosts calling out to me. I don't mind saying I'm officially scared. The child and man in me is just trembling. Just listen to them howling, howling like wolves. It just fills me with anxieties and fears. It just makes my spine shiver. Shiver! I've got to go to work tomorrow and see them. Unbelievable. There's an irony there, isn't there? It's got to be said. Now they're monsters from a Hollywood film. Tomorrow they'll be hoodies. But is there a difference, sir? I don't think there is. I'm feeling quite negative towards the Broken Britain mission right now. I'm feeling a bit picked on, to say the truth. Slightly bullied. Right, look. Listen, what do you want? I'll give you whatever you want. Just tell me, I'll give it to you, and then you can just go. Why don't you jump out the window? Jump. They want you to jump out the bloody window, for crying out loud. I mean, a grown man does not jump out of windows about SAS training, but at the same time, what can I do? They're not going to go. And I think I am going to jump. I mean, what other option have I got? I can't just carry on with this all night. At least I've got the opportunity to try and hit that bush. I'm coming! Yes, I'm going to put on a show. Shine your torches onto the bush. Oh, thank God, thank God. The cavalry's here, Mum and Dad are here, the flatmates are here. They're here. Oh God. The crowd's dispersing, they're going. There he is, Frankenstein's running along. That's why it's important to live with people. You know, it could be your family, it could be your flatmates, but if you have situations like this, safety in bigger numbers. The flatmates are back, slash parents, and they are not impressed whatsoever. Some of the ghouls left some floaters in the pond, so old Muggins here is probably going to have to sort that out tomorrow morning with a net or something. To think I was actually going to leap off the top floor of my own home, I mean, that's the sort of thing Jim Morrison would do out of his head on LSD. I was... I don't know, on cold spaghetti and a bit of toast, and with a bit of peer pressure added on top, just looks out there just then, it's um, very quiet, it's eerily quiet actually, well it's too quiet. Not even the sound of an owl, I've just got the feeling that they're planning something. They haven't dispersed, they've just moved away as a group and they're planning the next attack. I won't sleep at all well tonight, it really is as simple as that, I, I, I just feel very, very restless. And the worst thing is, if I do drop off to sleep, Due to the anxiety, I will have an accident. For now, over and out, good night. Take care of yourself. It's been a hell of a Halloween.